79 until uh, there was no more Grateful Dead, you know, in 95. And uh, there was a certain feeling I would get inside when, you know, the Dead would play and Jerry Garcia's guitar was going. And uh, I, I get that same sort of inner love, uh, inner universal connection when you hear this. You know, That's Trey's why. guitar. <laughs> Right, so it's like right. <laughs> there's this connection to the music that just pulls me in. You know, it's like I'm driving here this morning, this afternoon, going, "Damn, why are we going again?" Right. But then, but then, you know, the, the the feeling of that music just like hits home deep inside my soul, and so that's why I fish oh, yeah. because it's just a connection Absolutely. with the music. tickets just to show just to show up to try to get tickets to you know to try to warm their way in or just for the scene but like it's popular it's a good yeah. scene it's fun it's tough. Easy to get. high demand but for good reason they're awesome I uh, yeah if I can get tickets I'm gonna do the whole run yeah. I might do the whole run if I don't get tickets so yeah for the people that don't know yeah yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, I got friends here that got tickets. Yeah. I mean, I know there's other people that got tickets. I don't have one yet, but I'm, I think I'll get it. They're around, man, you know? Some guys were just 
all rude to me. They're like, it's 200 bucks. I was like, you guys aren't even going to the show. Like, you probably shouldn't be out here doing that. You mean over yeah. there? It's rude. Bought them just to sell them. But, uh, yeah, man, thank you. Yeah. So you're doing the whole tour, huh? Whole tour. It's just a little quickie. I think yeah. I, yeah, I think it's doable. Once we're all set, they give us the word. We're going all the way downstairs. If you run downstairs, you go outside. Those are the house rules. Okay, very simple. It went fine last night. I'll tell you why I go to fish shows. I go to fish shows because they make me feel good, because I feel connected with everyone in that room when they're playing that show. I can feel connection through the music that they're playing as a band, that everybody is connected to that same music. And that's like that one big feeling of connection. That's, that, that's the reason why I go, dude, to feel that feeling. I love it, dude. I've got a crew of friends. I see I've got my crew of fish friends, and I only, you know, we, we run into each other like five times a year, and it's like when we go to shows, we all meet up. We come in from different angles of the country, like different corners of the United States, dude. Everybody coming together to like one common place to listen to the music, dude. And it's like I, I can like keep in touch with like my friends, dude. I can make new friends, like it's just, it's like a, dude, it's like a playground, dude, with no rules, like it's like you're a little kid and it's a playground with no rules, you can do it, whatever yeah. you feel free to do, dude, yeah. like, yeah. as long as you keep it within, within reason, dude, like it's just something else. You know, we covered like That's over 3,000 miles for five shows, That's and nice. that was like a huge, like that was a huge deal. Um, you know, now it's like easy. They play everywhere. They play usually two nights and then three nights. So going to five shows is just so much easier. Yeah. Which is, and it's a lot more comfortable. You're not packing up every single day. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, back then we had we had no plans. I remember sleeping on a church steps in the middle of San Francisco because we had no lodging plans. We didn't even think about it until like after the show. And we were just like so tired at like 3 a.m. It's like, hey, let's just sleep on those church steps because nobody will mess with somebody on the, on church steps. Like that's safe, right? It's God home. And so that's what we did. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, like Ventura, California, we slept on the beach illegally. Um, so yeah. that was great. Yeah. Uh, so, awesome. you know, it's different. It's a lot more comfortable now, but not yeah. as adventurous. But the other difference is that, you know, now you can hear the shows immediately and form your own opinion versus back then you had to wait, you had to be heavily involved in like tape trading and, you know, it might be like, yeah, I might get, if I'm good, I might get that, that show might start circulating six months from now and I can finally listen to it uh, on tape and... You know, you didn't know if it was going to be an audience recording. Usually it was. Um, so, you know, you had, to, you had to wait and, like, work to listen to shows. So, um, so yeah, there wasn't, like, this immediate reaction yeah. as much. And I could you know. go on, like, 2 a.m. tonight. Get yeah, and listen yeah. to it or <laughs> comment on it or anything like that, you know. Yeah. So, um, see all the set too. Yeah. 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 So, I, I mean, I know that, like, you just had to take people's word for it. Like, I remember... You know, here, you know, I went from the Gorge in 99, the Gorge, to Boise, and Boise was like the show of the tour, um, uh, in a lot of people's opinion, and 
a lot of people skipped it because they were going from the Gorge, one off on like a Tuesday um, in Boise, uh, and then down to like San Francisco. And so it was just far out of the way. So tons of people skipped that show. And then when they got down to California, the people who went were like, oh my God, I can't believe you missed it. Yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. fucking awesome. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, it's always about all the connections I've made. So most of my best friends are people I've met through Okay. Which takes place about a week after the fish shows, which is an annual Charleston area shrimp competition. Various uh, shrimp and boats, um, Carolina skiffs, uh, which were historically used for oyster farming, mind you. But I'll be competing in that and then heading down down south, Nassau, Bahamas way. So uh, yeah, so come by gumbo from me now, okay? Absolutely. Go on now. Absolutely. I feel like this is all just an advertisement. Hey, thanks for getting that trash, man. Get in and start seeing fish. The first time I saw fish was July 22nd, no, July 26th, 2017, the Powder's Donut Night at the Baker's Dozen. Nice. And uh, I started off as a deadhead, and then my boy dragged me to that. I've been on, I've been a fan ever since. So. Right on, right on, man. Yeah. So you've been, uh, you've been going to shows ever since then, huh? Not as frequently as recently. I started off with one show in 2017, and then I bumped it up to six last year. And this will be my sixth show of the year this year. So it's slowly just becoming more and more shows every year. But I think that's typical, honestly. Yeah. yeah once you get a taste, you're just you're there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Once you get hooked, there's so, nothing like it. So you said you were like a uh, you're like a deadhead and stuff, right? So yeah. have you been seeing? Like who, what do you check out for dead shows and stuff? Right now, I've seen Dead & Company three times. Those are my first kind of dead shows. And I've, I've been really on the DSO train lately. I highly recommend it. There's a lot of J-Rad heads out there. And I definitely understand it. Like they shred, they go really hard, but DSO is really authentic. You close your eyes, it's almost like you're at a dead show. I never got to see Jerry, but I feel like that's the closest I'll get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've seen them seven times, which is, you know, a lot according to my friends, but then you ask the heads and they're like, oh, you're a noob. <laughs> yeah. So how does, like, how's that scene kind of compared to fish? Is it similar or different? It's, uh, I would say it's kind of a lot more tamed. It's a lot of people that used to see the dead, and there's a lot of people like me that didn't get to see the dead and kind of, you know, just are on the DSO train right now. I'd yeah. say at a DSO show, it's like two-thirds older heads and then one-third kind of my generation. Okay. So I'll take it. You know, tickets are 40 bucks. It's really just a grand old time for very little money. So what do we got going on here? We got here? Vietnamese bun mee sandwiches. So everything is fresh. Pickled daikons, carrots, jalapenos, cilantro. Choices of tofu or chicken marinated. And if, and if you like a little spice, we've got some 
some sweet chili and some garlic hot sauce. Okay, made in house? Yeah, so everything is fresh. Nice, nice, yeah. awesome. Freshest food on land. When we say it, we mean it. So how long have you been doing for? Oh, since 2000, well, 2006. 2006. Okay. Did my first shows in 2004. Um, I was still in high school, and then when I got out, I just started doing like a, like Rad Dog and Phil, and then the Dead came back, and now and then the Fish came back, and okay, we've been right doing on. it. This bitch though, this girl though, <laughs> she's been doing it much longer than me since two what? Since I was two. Since she was two. Yeah, I'm 41. Oh, you've been on her right parents. On. I've been this in tour my whole life. Oh, this wow. is her family's recipe. This is her mother's recipe. So, Mama Bo, right on. Name my kitchen after my mom, you know? Right on. Keep it in the chain. Have you been like singing this stuff on mom? This for two years. I've been working for that guy for 10 years. Yeah, that's one over here. Oh, next door? Oh, yeah. Wow. You gotta pay, you gotta pay the crew. It is my birthday as well. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nice. How old? I was born like hours after Fish's first show, so I'll be 36. Nice. Crazy, crazy how time flies. Pretty odd. Wow. I'm as old as Fish. Right on. Yeah. Cool, man. So you thought, it's still pretty early. You know, I guess it there is. was a wait list. Did you sign up for the wait list? I did. I signed up. You know, okay. um, it's definitely a hard ticket, but we'll see what happens. If I don't yeah. get in, I don't get in, but I usually get in. Good attitude. Yeah, like just that. tonight's a little different. It's it's uh it's not a normal show by any stretch. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like small. a whole contest. Who's gonna get in? And, yeah. You know, so, <laughs> cool, um, man. We'll see. Well, I hope you make it in. And uh, I hope so too. I hope so. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a fun fun night. It's been like 20 years since they played a venue this small. So yeah. that sort of intimacy in the community. It's like. At all. That's what yeah. it's all about. I see people offering like crazy stuff for tickets. What is what's some stuff that you've seen? Um, I've seen people offer a thousand dollars plus a cruise. What their their first show back after their fir uh, initial hiatus. That was probably the craziest mob scene I'd ever seen. Um, wow. It was New Year's 2002 outside of the Garden. It was insane. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen it like that night. Um, and uh, yeah, I've seen people pay thousands of dollars, more for like charity or that kind of thing. Um, but a lot of money, vacations, uh, and who knows what else. What are you out here standing on the sidewalk all day for? I'm looking for my fish ticket. I'm trying to get into this very, very difficult, very exclusive Met show. It's about like a, a tenth of the usual capacity. Wow, oh shit. How yeah. long have you been out here looking for tickets? Since like two. And I got it's a like New Year's Eve five now. Saturday it's like five now. So I've only been out here for like three hours. There are definitely the people that have been out here for longer. Yeah. Like, my God. Like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't offer up my place to stay. Yeah. But I would offer some money. How much? This is a free show, so I, yeah. all these people that have tickets got them for free. I'm giving my yeah. life away. And they have plus ones that they can give away if they didn't bring people with them. Uh, and people are selling those for a lot of money, obviously. But what who's got you, my extra? What have you seen that people offer for like trying to, to get a ticket? Shit, I've seen drugs and and money and food and jokes and cigarettes and friendships and hugs and all sorts of different things offered for these tickets. Right on. Well, yeah. I'm sure you'll get in. You know. I hope I will. I'm number 169 on the overflow list. Nice. So hopefully, once all these people get in, we're going to get in line at about 6.15. And hopefully, if there are any extra tickets, they'll release them. 
you know, in order. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Hopefully, there's at least 200. And what are you, what are you guys standing out here? What are we looking for? Happiness. Not only happiness, but looking for a plus one to get in this joint. Especially being a local, I feel like we deserve it. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're uh, right here. Um, How long have you been out here? I've been out here for about five hours. Wow. Yeah. All day. I'm, uh, Holy shit. You know, I have faith, hoping uh, to grab one eventually. But you know what? If I don't, I'm going to be okay. So, is on to the next. Is. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. Know? I'm going in. Right on. I, That's the spirit of the I have you faith we're both getting in. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm That's, going in. That, there is no tickets, but I'm going in. Yeah. That's what I like. To oh yeah. yeah. I'm going in. That's He's it. Going in. I'm going to see him in there. Yeah. We're we're seeing each other in there. Yeah. We're going to be doing the same thing when exact we get in there. Exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you know because. I'm going to be in there. Because no the other way I see it, so. Because you know what? The universe is going to uh, work in our favor, I think, tonight. And you know what? If it doesn't, I'll be all right. <laughs> right it's always working. But it's favor. always working we have, out. We have no choice in the matter. Yeah, exactly. We have no choice in the matter, so. But I'll be in there. Hey, you know what? Either Hell way, yeah. everybody Hell that yeah. sees this, peace and love, and uh, I wish you all the best. Good keep, luck on tour. Keep running, th keep running with fish. <laughs> I am trying to get into the Met tonight to see fish. What time did you get here? I got here around... 12.58, approximately 12.58. Wow. So I've been here warm in my little Wookiee coat, just trying to stay warm, trying to get a ticket, looking for a ticket. Spelled it wrong, hopefully someone will look at it and say, hmm, he's a dummy, and, and feel bad for me and give me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the spirit. There you go. Yeah. So. So are you on, there's uh, like a list or something? I'm on the list, I'm 57 on the list across the street. Mm -hmm. uh, supposedly there's 40 people that have called out so far that means that there's 80 tickets that are going to be available to be given out and this is all rumor conjecture as one would say you know but we're gonna try I haven't been shut out of a show that I wanted to go to so you know hopefully this won't be the first right on you know I've only been seeing shows since 1991 at the Keswick here in Philadelphia Wow that so, was your first show, huh? That was my first show. Uh, I saw them at Sigmund Sound Studio with 75 people um, in the mid-90s. Uh, Mike Gordon came up to me and asked me to take him to the bathroom, which I had no idea where it was since I've never been in Sigmund Sound Studio at the time. But I've seen him in some small venues, so I've been fairly lucky. Hopefully I'll be able to get in tonight. Nice. And how many, uh, how many shows have you seen? Or roughly? Roughly? Um, we're probably getting close to 350, 400, somewhere in there. I was averaging about 25 to 30 shows for the first 10, 15 years. Nice. Now I'm doing about 10 to 15 a year. So it's getting up there. I kind of lost count as right far on. as that goes. But I have lots of fun stories and lots of great adventures, you know, traveling around seeing this silly band. We're down here having a good time. We're going to the Met tonight. Uh, me and my buddy. I'm his plus one, we're going in, we, he won tickets, uh, which is kind of pretty cool because uh, we were going to Curveball and you know what happened there, so it's kind of cool, so we're, we're, we're happy to go. And besides this show, what's the smallest fish show you think you've seen? Glens since? Falls, for sure. What, Glens Falls, New York? What year was that? Shit, when was that? Probably 2000, was it 16? 2016, I think? 2000? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was definitely the smallest show I saw. That was. Five thousand, maybe. Wow, that was a, that was a small place. So mm -hmm. this is kind of cool. It's the unknown. We don't know what we're gonna see. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. They'll deliver. They always deliver. Yeah. Everyone says like the like those sports fish is always undefeated. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? so here we go.
like right now it's December, right? Fish used to play in December, they used to tour harder. So like, at least in my experience, like 95 they played in December, 96 they played a fall tour in December, 97, 98 they did not play December, they played in um, Thanksgiving weekend in Worcester, 99 they played in December. Since 1999, Fish has not played in December besides New Year's, from my understanding. So that's been 20 years, it's December 3rd today. Wow. This is like an old school fish vibe when it's fucking freezing cold snowing <laughs> at the fish show. Yeah. So that's why the that's why the music is so good. Because that's the best fish. Because back in the day, like you used to go to a fish show and it used to be so good. You go to the next fish show and it was just as good. You went to the next fish show, it was just as good. You had to go on tour. Like right now, like every show of this tour has been good. There's mm. been no bad show. So mm. that's when it's like it pulls you in. That's when you have to go to the next show. Yeah. Which you don't always experience with fish. But in December fish, that's what it's all about. So. Right on, man. That's just my testimonial. How is like the scene today compared to how it was from like a parking lot kind of like band, not the music but like the scene, you know? What I, I think mean? everybody was younger. Everybody like I don't know you could compare it to like Twiddle or now the Disco Biscuits fans are older, but everybody was younger, more like an eat like a bass neck or EDM, whatever. It was just a lot of teenagers, you know what I mean? So it's, you got a picture like everybody younger and everybody when you're young, you you don't have uh, you don't think about how many drugs you're taking or how much alcohol you're drinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. So everybody was just wasted, you know? And it was a lot of college kids, a lot of Northeast college kids, you know what I mean? Mm, so a lot of yeah. kids, like, they had, like, I remember I used to go on tour and somebody had, like, an Exxon gas car. So you weren't paying for any gas. Or somebody had their mom's Volvo. Or, like, um, somebody had extra tickets because their dad bought them tickets. So there's kind of, like, money flowing around in the scene and everybody just getting way too high. I know it sounds like, because this fish is kind of, I mean, even though fish is not about the drugs, there's, you know, there's a lot of people, especially younger people back then, did more drugs, I feel like, you know what I mean? And you go to the show and the fish would fuck with you. Like, they, they knew people were getting high, so they'd fuck with you, you know what I mean? They'd play dark, like, crazy songs, yeah. or do weird shit. Or like yesterday during, like, 2001 at the Met, like that weird dark jam, that evil fish, that was really, they used to do that to fuck with the tripping people more. Now people don't trip as much. You know? yeah. Trey sober, I'm sober, you know, 20 years, Trey sober, you know, it kind of, you know, I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, kind of like an evolution of like, just growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm the bottom end of uh, Gen X. He's probably in the upper end of Gen X, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you. Uh, the first time I ever saw them was in Agora Theater, which is in Cleveland. I think it was 1991. Wow. Maybe 1991. It might, I think it was 1991. Wow. Agora Theater. Wow. Anything else you want to say to the people on uh, YouTube checking this out? I would say... I would say fucking come see it. I mean, I would say, like, don't say anything else besides that. Like, you know, I mean, I've also seen, by the way, there's a whole, you know, I went on Dead Tour 14. I've been seeing shows my whole life. My dad took me to see The Who on my 13th birthday. Like, nope. I've been seeing shit my whole life. Wow. I've seen like anything from like Jane's Addiction to like Ice Cube, like honestly. Wow. But I don't. There. If I can boogie to it, have a good time. You better believe it. Tickets. We're hoping to find 
<laughs> right. Don't hold back me in the documentary. We haven't scored that yet. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we just try to get in early. Be. We try to get to that 300 people who get in early last night, and we were literally the last people before the wristband, before the wristband ran, ran out. out. And but we still got in, and we were just like the first people after the 300. So, yeah. so they let was, us in at like five o'clock. They're letting 300. Oh, just to go in, inside. Just to go early. inside and hang out. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. But so well, we did that. So, but yeah, we'll probably go check out the lot. See if we can go find some bucks goodies. Worth on yeah. uh, grilled cheese, and you know, probably end up showing my boobs to security and <laughs> you know, it, it's fine. We'll have it'll happen. There you go. There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Anything else you guys want to uh, say to uh, the people on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, fish is awesome, and I think uh, yeah, it definitely changed my life. So. Yeah. I just encourage people just not to take things too seriously in, in today's climate. Like, Fish is a band that um, is very whimsical and just like remember to be like that. Uh, sometimes I feel like the crowd can kind of yeah, kind of get a kind of get a little too serious about it. Like, just remember that life's not too serious. And, it's good to be kind to each yeah. other. The helping friendly book. <laughs> yeah. Let it speak to you. <laughs> yeah. So that's right important. On. Yeah. What do you got here? You got some shirts for tie dyes. I hand make coasters, cherry wood coasters, nice. and uh, carry tie dyes for a friend of mine. Right on, man. How long have you been doing this? Twelve years. Twelve years. Uh -huh. Okay. So mostly fish shows or mostly dead shows. Mostly That's dead shows. I do some fish. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of an older scene, although with John Mayer, it's brought some younger people back. Okay. But in general, it's a little bit of an older scene. Um, there's a little bit more of an EDM feel at fish shows with the glow sticks and the way people dress and whatnot sometimes. A little bit more towards the EDM than the dead scene is. Okay. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's a lot of similarities. A lot the same. You get a lot of people from Dead Tour who've been on Fish Tour. A lot. Um, I love the rail. I love to look in Trey's eyes. And I sell merch to fund it. And I sell cool shit. And... It gets me to the next show. Saw It Again is my favorite song. We fucking rocked it out last night hard. Um, I was on the rail last night for Saw It Again. It was pretty fucking special. Hell the yeah. whole tour has been so special. No repeats. Yeah. And it's just really fucking incredible. Like, they're really going to do it. And they have two nights to do it, and I can't wait to see the songs they're going to play tonight. Nice, man. So Charleston's been treating you well, vending down here and stuff? Oh, uh, not really, to be honest. It's pretty weak. Yeah. Um, we were really happy to get down here to do Shakedown, but the South is kind of lame. I don't know, maybe it's just the fall tour, but it's not as good as summer tour. It's good to be out here, though, man. I'll tell you what, it's good to be out here. I love vending. It's super fun. Yeah. We have a total community, the Shakedown crew and it's like nothing else. We all help each other out, we sell cool shit, we party down, and it's all family. It's all fish love, man, and that's the best part about it. Everyone's here for the same reason. Yeah, you wanna like, it, like, how, like when you say it's like a community, you wanna like go a little bit deeper into that with the, vent, the vendor community? Like, yeah, like, so my buddy, he does my printing, he held, he, you know, we hold spots for each other so we can hang out all day together next to each other vending. Um, we'll do anything for each other, you know? We hook, hook each other up with beer all night long, all day long. If we like any of the merch, take it, you know? It's all love. We don't like to make money off of each other. It's, you know, these nice people that come here and fund our tour, which is nice. Fish is at an all-time high and they're just doing it, man. It's it's like, how can you miss a show? Last night was the best show of the whole tour, and we were saying that in Pittsburgh. It's like, how are they gonna top it? They showed up here and just, and it's tonight's Saturday? I don't know, man. I don't know what they're gonna play. It's gonna be crazy. I hope they fucking play Boogie On, because they haven't played it in over a year. And that's what we need, is some Boogie On. <laughs> I mean, I remember um, the scene being in like 1994, 1995 as being a lot of people who had older people, seemed older to me at the time, um, who had been seeing them for a while, uh, kind of uh, like just laid back and kind of uh, just, you know, enjoying, going, really there to see the show and the music. 
And then I remember in like 1997 and 1998, the scene kind of turned more into like a, you know, people trying to capitalize on how to, how to like, you know, kind of like a dead, you know, like the Grateful Dead scene, like it turned more into like, you know, can I tour with the band? Can I make money while I'm touring around with the band? It got kind of crazy. Um, and uh, a lot of people there, not necessarily for the music, but more to like just party and enjoy the whole thing. And uh, But I mean, at the end of the day, the reason I go see Fish isn't for any of that. I, 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 I come to see four guys who, in my opinion, are some of the greatest, one of the tightest bands, just a, you know, they're just a tight band. And it's four dudes who get together and you might as well be in their living room when they're playing and if you focus on that and not all the other stuff uh, which I have which I've always done um, it's one of the coolest experiences ever man you get to see one of the tightest bands um, in like a really cool uh, in a really cool way and then as they get older right now they're playing in my opinion these are some of the the best shows I've ever seen them play so uh, I probably didn't say that eloquently enough but uh, they are a, I'm just I'm excited for tonight man very excited for tonight How are you doing? Fantastic, how are you? Doing well, what's your name? Flavin. I know you're craving Raven Flavin, so come out and play with me. All right, all right. And I see you got some things written on your get up here. What do we got going on? Touch my butt, I'm a taco slut. If you want to touch this, 125. I have a card reader swipe here. Touch my butt, I'm a taco slut. <laughs> Tacos all day, $1.25. I do take cards, no change. I, we just got here last night, not made into the show, but I would just figured I'd hang out here, man. Parking lot. See what happens. So, yeah. You know. Yeah, I might make it in. Depends on how many butt touches I get. You could trade 60 butt touches. That's yeah. about face I mean, price for a ticket. How much is the ticket? 75 face. 75, so 75 butt touches. I think I could pull that off. Yeah, you know, I touch I my butt, I'm a taco slut. Dollar twenty-five, please. <laughs> we live we moved to Florida uh, three months ago. We quit our jobs at Peach Fest so we for Trey. Wow. Shit, so you've been doing like the whole tour thing. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's like it's so worth it because like when you get to see the music and you get to be there and meet the people and just have it's that. amazing. It's truly it's awesome. amazing. It's like changing I your life wouldn't, on a daily basis. I wouldn't have it any other way. We've been shot out all weekend and uh -huh. as much as it sucks to not be in the show, my heart cannot stop smiling at the fact that I'm here. It's a good scene. Yeah. It's a good good hang, you know. Good people. You don't get this at like a Bruno Mars concert. <laughs> like <Ew. laughs> I don't know, I've met a lot of people that are really amazing and you know, I met her before, but then we both realized that we like the same music and it just kinda of worked out, but Let's community. Let's go. Let's let's just quit our jobs oh, and that's move. A good picture right there. <laughs> Last show of the tour. All right. We're gonna make sure we put this Sunday on as hard as we can because we are not gonna see another bit of music for what is it now? I don't know, two, three weeks. Get it in while you can. I came here all the way from Los Angeles and I would do it again every day of the week if they were playing. That's why I'm here and that's why the rest of us are here. Make sure you do the same. You aren't living life unless you're out there living it. <laughs> My name is Reed, it's spelled R-E-E-D, and I'm nine years old, but tonight's my pre-birthday show. I was not at night's one or two, but I'm, but I'm gonna be here, here, but I'm gonna be there tonight. So what are you thinking for tonight, last show of the tour, what do you think? Uh, for the opener? 
Yeah, what do you just think for the whole show in general? What are some songs, well, opener? Well, well, first of all, for the opener, I think they'd either do um, foam or the curtain. Like, not the curtain width. I am not talking about the curtain width, just the curtain. Because I don't really know when the last time was that they played just the curtain. So maybe they'll bust that out too. I'm feeling, having a good feeling about it. I love it. I love every fish concert I've been to, and I, I know I'm gonna love this one. Uh, I think uh, it is definitely an inspiration in the music that Trey is putting out, mm -hmm. and the love behind his music is is transformative for anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but to to know his story uh, a little more in depth and. Uh, watched one of the, the drug court speeches that he gave on YouTube and you know tears of joy you know and to uh, to be able to uh, a friend of mine Jeff made these keep Trey sober pins it's like keep Tahoe blue but it says keep Trey sober with Vermont on it and I was given the rights to like make some more of them and so I get to give out these pins and uh, you know put that out there because like what they're doing these days uh, is just so absolutely beautiful you know to say the least and uh, I know I've heard of uh, some of his routine before shows and that when he steps out on the stage he actually thinks about possibly somebody in the crowd like needing you know to get sober and like putting that energy out, you know what I mean? And like the love that mm. that Trey just radiates and models, you know? And the, the album he wrote for his friend and just to, to be there through that and to like create something so beautiful for so many people. That means so much out mm. of that experience, the ghost of the forest and drift while you're sleeping. And mm. ah, I was fortunate to Worked the table at the mat this run, and uh, I tell you what, the spiritual fire that Trey was bringing was powerful. Mm. That energy, that building, is something drugs and alcohol never did for me. Mm. Oh. You know, like drugs and alcohol always brought me to a place of like somewhat comforting in in my own skin. You know, and a, mm. uh, a place of of freedom so to speak mm -hmm. but like where i where i find that today is like at fish shows and through service and through you know that's great love, you know and like mm -hmm. like trey says love will carry us through you know just hanging out man i'm gonna go go in and do some volunteering uh with the fellowship and uh see some fish you know cool, cool. kitchen show it'd be my 70 uh sixth sober show uh 98th so 98th Superfish Show total. Wow, yeah. great. Close so you've been, you've been involved with them for a little while? Yeah, or? well I've been following fish since my first show was the Dark Side of the Moon show in Utah. Uh, and uh, I've been seeing them since then and I've been uh, sober since June 6th of 2003. Didn't catch any of the 2.0 shows, saw a lot of well, widespread panic then, but mm. uh, I've been seeing fish sober since 2009, Alpine Valley. That's great. That's yeah. great. So where can people find the uh, fellowship at? Fellowship.net. And we're also on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, you can search out. Um, uh, it's called The Fellowship with a PH, kind of like fish. And you can find it on there. And then fellowship.net as well. Information about if they want to volunteer and stuff like that is on there. Mm. Um, and the fellowship page on Facebook is really active for people who want support outside of a show setting. Fish just cake. go. Just the fish come. shakes rule. No, I love the fish shakes. So it's important. It has to be a bro party. Yeah. Fish chicks. Fish chicks. The fish, fish chicks, chicks, that's what's up. And they know where they're at. They know where they're at. They know. They know. Here's a fish <laughs> chick. The fish chicks are where it's at. Cool. Bad love for the fish, fish chicks. Fish chicks. Meat Mwah. chicks love fish chicks, you know? Meat <laughs> chicks do love fish chicks. There's True. fish dicks and fish chicks. Oh! <laughs> nice. Hey, 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 listen up. We're in the beautiful state of South Carolina. That's where they have a palm tree and a moon right around the corner. <laughs> We're doing good here. We got a nice, awesome three days. It's super, super, super nice and warm. You don't need a lot of uh, gear on. You can actually come out in your shorts, your skirts, whatever you're in the mood for. We got a bunch of beer. We got. It's a really tough ticket. We got a lot of people looking for tickets. It's been super hard. But we're just doing our best. We're trying to do everything we can do. We're trying to drink as much beer as we can. 
and have some nice, you know, things that we enjoy uh, having during the course of the evening, responsibly. All my super duper friends out here. Hey guys, let's give a big round of applause for my good troops, the Fit Man. <laughs> this ain't no Bon Jovi concert. I got my good friend Santa with me, and uh, he's always been good. He's used to stuff and stuff. Presents. Can't get any better than that. We're doing everything we can do. Hey guys, always with my good friends over there, Lulu and Tutu. I'm your best friend, right? I miss you, right? <laughs> All right. Always a pleasure. See, this is just the best. You gotta come down, make sure you put in for the mail orders, make sure you buy your tickets, make sure you give away a ticket once in a while for someone that doesn't have it or can't afford it. Bring a buddy in, show them the experience. Make sure they're always doing good. Make sure you clean up your garbage. Very important. Be respectful of the environment. Don't hurt no one. Love someone, give them a big old hug. A kiss is good too, but don't get in trouble. Fighting's not good. I'm the Sarge. I'm coming at you live. I'll see you soon. Oh, we travel around. Bit. We're gonna catch up at Hampton in spring tour because we heard that's gonna happen. So it's yeah. not a thing yet, but we're gonna yeah. see it. We're also going to Peach. Oh, uh, nice. A wedding gift. Some oyster head. Yep. Yeah. I think any girl that's in this scene just like is a total badass because they have to deal with all these dudes. But that being said, everyone's super chill. So. There's a lot of less drama. Yeah. I would say. That's true. Yeah. There's that's like everyone's true. just down to chill. Yeah. Cool. There's a lot to be said for that. Right on. <laughs> yeah. Well, anything else you want to say to all the people on? Fish rolls. I love her. <laughs> yeah. Charleston. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Are we filming? Are we, are we hot? Yeah. We All right. So, so what's going on, man? How you doing? Um, well, I'm out here with my boy Keith, my dog Keezy, and um, we're both looking for extras. He doesn't realize it, but I'm like trying to trade uh, Keezy for a ticket for a Sunday. So, I mean, you know, never miss a Sunday, right? You miss, you miss Sunday more than you miss a dog. Like, this is all obviously sarcasm for people who don't understand deep sarcasm. He's a fat little guy. He's a he he wants he, all he wants to do is eat grilled cheeses and like bacon. You got any bacon? But like he'll he'll <laughs> he'll do a whole like trilogy with you if you have bacon. Like he'll all right. He'll, yeah, he'll be a. So what does he do when you go on the show? Lay, lays in my car and. and Hangs out. Wait and chill and sleep. He's a, he'll be asleep before I even get. If he'll, I'm I'm, uh, I'm climbing the wall, the ramp wall, and then he'll. he'll so I'm not getting into a set break unless there's a, a girl. Actually, this, this girl over there with this tiny little dog who's selling. Po she's trying, she's trying to Pollock for 400 uh -huh. and, and an extra. She's trying to do or like yeah, 400 plus an extra. The Hampton from last year. Uh -huh. And uh, she said there's, there's, well, there's one lady that's like telling her coworkers, she's like, I'm just, as long as they have a ticket, I'm just letting people in. And it's worked the last two days, she's, she said, she says, yeah, she got last night, she's like, this is number two. And she just ripped it, ripped it, didn't even look at the ticket, just ripped it. And so she said, like, tonight's three. And like, so, like, so I'm going in with her. But I also sh sharded really bad before the show. Anything else you want to say to the fish fans? Who's got it better than us?